If you have ever tried synchronizing networked objects with sync fares, there may have been instances where the object would synchronize fine for connected clients, but not for late joining clients. Let's take a look at some code where this problem might occur. I have opened my weapon spawner class. Notice that I have a sync fare of network identity type named spawn weapon. In update, I checked if spawn weapon is not null, then move it to the weapon holder position. The weapon holder is merely a child of this object. With this code, if spawn weapon exists, it should follow this object around. And here at the end, I just have a command to spawn the weapon and assign it to spawn weapon, which again is the sync fare. How this code works isn't really important. I just want to show you that I am using a sync fair for a network identity and that when that sync fair contains value, it will follow around this object. There's no reason this code shouldn't work since sync fairs are synchronized to all clients and even late joining ones. However, this in fact will sometimes break. So let's talk about that real quick. When an object is initialized over the network, data about that object, including all of its synchronized properties, so sync fares, are included when the object is spawned. However, objects spawn in one at a time in any random order. Because of this, if you are synchronizing a network identity, that network identity object might not be spawned in before the script or object referencing it is. In result, the synchronized network identity will be null because it simply does not exist yet. The scary part of this is that this is a race condition. Sometimes it will work, sometimes it will not. So you may never know that something is broken until it's far too late. I'm going to try and demonstrate this and hope that it breaks on my end so you can see the problem occur. I have a client host and a regular client open on builds. On the server, I'm going to spawn a weapon. The weapon is spawned, and as I move around my character, you can see that it is following on the client as well. It seems the code is working as expected. Let's connect a new client. The new client is connected, and you can see that it has the weapon too. The sync fair appears to be working, but watch what happens when I move around the character holding it. See how it's not updating on the new client? This is because the weapon did spawn in, because it is a networked object but the sync fair property is null, so it doesn't know which weapon should be following the character. If you look at my console, you'll see a warning. Read network identity, net ID 2, not found in spawn. This is the raise condition I spoke of earlier. The character, containing a reference to the sword, spawned before the sword did. In result, the network identity for the sync fair is unknown and could not be set. I have new builds up with the solution implemented. Let's see the difference. I'm going to spawn the sword, and now I'm going to show you that it's working on late joining clients as well. When I connect a new client, and then move around the sword owner, you can see that it is also working on the late joining client. For information on getting the full version of this tutorial, as well as dozens more, please check the description of this video.